In the first video, I demonstrated that the Windows and Mac versions of MySQL 8 Community Server have different configurations. These differences can cause the same query to produce different results between Mac and Windows. Changing the Windows SQL Mode settings to mirror the Mac settings was shown in the first video. See the URL provided. This video will demonstrate the reverse how to change the Mac MySQL mode settings to match the default settings found in the Windows Server. One technical issue that must be solved first is that the Mac MySQL 8 server does not come with a user config file by default. Therefore, this file must be created, then it can be altered with the new settings. To create the file, launch the terminal application. Click Command plus Spacebar at the same time. In the search dialog box that opens, type Terminal. About halfway through your typing, the full app name should appear. When it does, press Enter. The terminal will launch and should open to your user folder by default. The file must be created within a hidden folder in this location. To access that folder, type cd space forward slash etc and press the return key. The terminal should now reflect the new location. Type ls and press return. ls is the list command to show you the contents of the current folder. As you look through the list, you should not find a file named my.cnf. This is the file to be created. To do so, type sudo sudo touch touch my dot cnf then press return you may be asked to provide your password this will be the same one that you use to log in to your mac when done type ls and press the return key this time the my dot cnf file should be present go ahead and close the terminal start your mysql server if it is not already running and then open the MySQL Workbench. Click on the current server connection. On the left panel, find and click the Administration tab. Locate the Instance group and click the tool icon to the right of the instance name. In the dialog box that opens, you will have to indicate where MySQL Workbench must look for the my.cnf file. Locate and click in the Configuration File text box. Then type forward slash private, forward slash etc, forward slash my, period, cnf. When done, click the close button to close the dialog box. When done, return to the instance group and click the bottom item, options file. MySQL Workbench should attempt to open the file and may display a warning that the MySQL D section did not exist and will be created. Click OK. When the settings page opens, scroll down to the SQL group and locate the SQL-mode setting. Click the checkbox to the left to enable it. Then click in the text box to the right. Select everything, Command plus A, then delete. In the now empty text box, type the following exactly as it appears in the video and in the highlight. This text will also be provided in the comment for this video. Please note the use of single quotes surrounding the text and the two setting strings separated by a comma. Scroll to the bottom of the file and click Apply. A dialog box will open showing the changes to be made. Click Apply. A dialog box will appear asking for your computer password. Enter it and click OK. If the server is already running, you will need to restart it. Once restarted, return to the MySQL Workbench. The reason for starting or restarting the server is that the configuration file is only read when the server starts. With these changes made, you will be able to run queries where columns are listed in the SELECT clause but are not present in the GROUP BY clause, making the MAC results the same as with the Windows queries.